Hey guys, what's going on? It's Max here, and today I'm giving you a video about my Scuf gaming controller, and it's going to be a basically, basically it's going to be a, uh, like sort of a review and showing all the different components of this Scuf controller. Uh, if some of you don't know what it is, it's like it's a custom-made controller um, tailored to your needs. Like uh, you order on the website with all these different features, and they custom make them. They take a normal controller like uh, like this, this one over here, and they basically just add a bunch of stuff. So I'll be showing you guys that, and uh, just telling you guys how good it is and stuff like that. So before, as you know, I made a video before about control freaks and how I use those. And on this controller, instead of control freaks, I got these PS3 analog sticks. Now with these PS3 analog sticks, they are domed, so like they're curved. They're better for aiming, unlike um, the Control Freaks, which are um, Xbox uh, analog sticks. They're indented, so those are harder to aim with. And with these PS3 analog sticks, they're be easier to aim with, and you're more accurate and stuff like that. I've already noticed it, even though I'm not that used to it. Uh, used to this controller, uh, I really do like it a lot, much better than the Control Freaks, because the Control Freaks are only ten bucks, but this was like this is like hundred twenty-five dollars. This is a good controller. I definitely do suggest getting a scuffing controller if you want to um, improve your gaming to the next level. And if you do have the money, I I would definitely recommend getting one of these. Now I blacked out all the buttons as you can see here. I just made it look cool and stuff like that. And also one of these another important features to this controller is these back paddles. Now you guys, um, I have never seen these before, but what they are is they're just regular buttons like um, this one. This one on the back here, that's A, and this is B. So like, when I'm uh, when I'm holding a controller and I'm playing around, I can jump while I'm still aiming. Aiming, I don't have to take my uh, my finger off the analog sticks to jump or knife. So that way I can like panic knife, jump, and uh, drop shot with all without having to take off my fingers off the analog sticks, which is great. And uh, it really does help me out in winning all my gunfights and stuff like that. And also. Another important part about this scuff controller is it's wired. I don't know if you guys know this, but when the controller is wired, it has better reaction time. Like it, uh, it goes to the fast TV faster. Like instead of wireless controllers, they're obviously wireless, so it's some sort of reception from the Xbox to the controller. But with this wire, it goes right to the Xbox, and it's very fast. Uh, right when you press the button, it'll do it. Uh, it'll actually shoot and stuff like that. And uh. Another thing this thing has is it has these trigger stoppers. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see them very well. I'm sorry about this uh, camera. You might, my vo my uh, voice might sound a little bit weird. It has these trigger stoppers, which means... Um, hold, hold on, I'll show you guys a normal controller. See here, you have the normal controller where... Um, you guys probably might know this, but when you press the controller down... Um, when you press the trigger, it, it shoots about at about there and it all goes all the way down to there so a lot of times people are pressing the trigger down all the way and they're not firing it fast as you could be and so with this stuff controller it has these trigger stoppers so right when you uh, right when you press it down you want to press it down a little bit to shoot so it's like almost like a mod you can fire so fast and I have it with the other left controller you don't really need it with the left trigger but it's great with the right trigger you can um, you can really spam the trigger and it's really good is very helpful especially with the semi-autos and stuff like that like the MK14 and uh, some of the snipers and the shotguns and stuff like that and this game this controller really did help me out um, obviously I'm not getting paid or anything I just wanted to show you guys this and uh, thank you guys for 1,000 subscribers it's just amazing and uh, I show you guys my controller and um, I really do love this controller I like it a lot better than the other controllers um, my past Xbox controllers, the wireless ones, that they're like they're okay. Like if you're a normal player and you don't want to do that well, or at least you just want to play for for fun, don't get this. But like if you really don't want to step your game up to the next level, I definitely recommend getting one of these. This is uh, this is the cheapest one. Um, I I would have gotten like a Scuff Reaper or something with like cool red camo or whatever, but it was like 160. This is only like 120. I'll link it to you guys in the description. It's called the Scuff S FPS Competition. I think it is. Um, yeah, I'll link that in the description, and this is probably, like, the cheapest one you can get with all these different features in it. I know it's kind of expensive, like, obviously, it's a, 
it's $125, $120, whatever. But it really is helpful and uh, sort of like a headset. Uh, you definitely do want to uh, get that if you want to step your game up and stuff like that. So um, if you guys have any questions about this, uh, also it has this grip in the back, which is really cool because like sometimes <laughs> I kind of uh, my hands get kind of sweaty when you're playing. I know some of you guys probably have that happen to you, and it has this really good grip. So even when your hands get sweaty, it's uh, it gives you traction and you won't slip and uh, your fingers won't slip and stuff like that. So it's really helpful. And also, this thing is really light. This is only like a pound. Uh, unlike um, the other controllers that have the vibrators in them, uh, the vibrating packs, uh, it makes it a little very heavy uh, compared to this one. They take out the vibration, so there's no vibration, but I definitely w wouldn't recommend playing on uh, playing with vibration on even when you're playing. Uh, with a normal controller just because it messes you up your aiming because as you're shooting it's vibrating and you're freaking out because it's vibrating and your aim's not as good and stuff like that so basically here, here's the controller just a quick overview it's all black we got the red pals on the back if you guys have any questions uh, I definitely would answer them in the comment section below um, and that's pretty much it guys I uh, hope you enjoyed this scuff gaming controller review uh, I really do suggest getting one of these if you have the money uh, it's, it's a very very great controller definitely the best one I've ever had um, I definitely recommend scuff uh, they are a very great company that makes these custom controllers and guys I hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching I am signing out Peace.